What's up guys? Welcome back to A Trucker's Life. I'm Jorge Navarro. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. If you've already been subscribed, welcome back guys. And I've already tried to attempt to make this video three times, two times. And this is uh, take number three. I've done the whole thing and I wanted, wanted to add a couple things here and there. And I've, uh, yeah, here we are. So we are in Ohio in, uh, what's LaGrange, LaGrange, Ohio on Highway 301 and uh, just got through delivering our load here in Ohio. I gotta make sure we open up good here because I don't know why they have this set up like this. They do. We delivered our load, picked up a empty and we're headed back to Texas. It is a cool 59 degrees with about a 15, 10 to 15 mile an hour wind. And the sun finally came out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Hello, Mr. Police. Mr. Policia. He's been kind of hanging around here. I saw him on the way over there. <laughs> Got our train. Got our train hauling butt across here. Anyways, guys, uh, so what I wanted to talk to you guys about, the subject I wanted to talk about today was something that I've been talking, I've talked about this, I've had this conversation with two of my cousins, and you guys know one of them, Jake uh, from uh, Galvez Trucking. Go check out those three videos, guys, if you haven't watched them. And uh, it's uh, about my cousin that he, he owns a, a small trucking company. At the time of that video, he owned, he had, I think, six, five to six trucks. But the video wasn't that long ago. I had a, he had about five or six trucks, two of his, and then the rest were leased to him. And I think now he's up to ten in such short period of time. And he's gotten himself out of the truck. And he's doing dispatching and stuff like that. And the other one you, you I've never met, his name is Ruben. And uh, he actually works here with me. At Hennef, he has a truck that he, I think he just finished paying it off. Congratulations to him on that. And uh, so he's good. But what what I wanted to talk about was that I wanted to give advice. I wanted to give advice to truck drivers, to people, well, to people that want to become truck drivers and for them to be doing it for the right reason, okay? Why for the right reason? Well, because, and uh, I'll get back to my cousins here because they all fit into the story here. So my cousin, I mean, so back to the, uh, to, 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 I got myself all confused here. But anyways, um, so for those of you that want to become truck drivers, guys, you got, you got to, you got to put in your mind that this is a career and for those of you that are young, this goes mostly out to you guys. If you are young and you want to, this, you want, you really want this to become your career. You, this is what you want out of life and you want to go out and you want to see the country and you want to make money while you're doing it and all that good stuff. 100% encourage you guys to do, I'm empty guys, so. What uh, 100% guys encourage you to do it if you want to do it for the right reasons. The trucking industry is kind of like a black hole. If that's 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 probably the best analogy that I can come up with when it comes to keeping you in it once you get in. Here's why: when you get into the trucking industry as a young person, you probably came from a job that made about 200, 300 dollars a week. Nowadays, nowadays money I think and uh, you're now making coming in as a brand new driver young driver you're now making 700 six to seven hundred maybe eight hundred dollars a week before taxes so you're bringing home about five six seven hundred bucks uh, depending on depending on the company you go for right so now you've doubled and sometimes, depending on the situation, tripled your income from what you were doing as a, you know, working at a convenience store or at a fast food restaurant or what have you. So now you're making this money 
and then uh, you've done it you know you do it for a couple years and now you're you're at you're at the time where you can pretty much go work anywhere because most companies two years experience will get you a decent paycheck and then you'll be up there making about you know anywhere between a thousand dollars a week up to maybe fifteen sixteen hundred dollars a week before taxes uh, great great living okay great living so you've gone you've gone for the next five years ten years fifteen years twenty years making this kind of money and your life is now set set up or you've set up your life those those of you that don't think ahead like myself I include myself in that for those of you that do well then y'all have already figured everything out but most of us don't so or most of us haven't so you get through through life and you're right at about 40 years old and you're at this time in life where you kind of want to get out of the truck but you don't know what to do you don't know if I should get out of the truck stay in the truck what do I do because if I leave the trucking industry as a 40 year old what job am I gonna get that is gonna make the same amount of money as I'm making out on the truck pretty much right away and that is basically almost non-existent not that it doesn't exist but it's very very rare that you're gonna get out of a truck and make the same amount of money that you were making in the truck out in the regular world put it that way so that's what my cousins and I have been talking about and uh, more so this conversation I had with Ruben uh, Jake's situation is a little different because he owns a company so he's already set in his path to really not deal with the actual driving part which is the hardest part right so he's done with that he's 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 got his company going and that's good and that and he you know that's that's what he wants to do for the rest of his life and it's awesome because he's got his own company already but what I've been talking to, to my cousin Ruben about is that he he says he's made a goal that before he turns 40 years old he wants to get out of the truck I think he's maybe in his mid 30s if not on the you know maybe 37 30 I'm not exactly 100% sure how old he is but he's he's later than his mid 30s so his goal is pretty ambitious because it's not far away but it's not impossible so what he wants to get into is uh, real estate and uh, that would be a great outlet because there's there's great money in that but you know and he's setting himself up now for then which is very smart and I was telling him I said I said cuz unfortunately me I think I am gonna be one of those drivers that is probably gonna end up getting pulled out of this truck uh, when it's all said and done I think this is where I'm gonna be until I'm done I mean I'm just and he's like why you know why I said well I said cuz this is what I do this is all I know to do really you know, I have my license to do air conditioning and all and stuff like that, but I've never, I only did it for a short period of time, not even a year. So going back to that, and then to, for me, it's very, very difficult. And that's why I've been really thinking about having this conversation with you guys, especially you young guys that are or guys or gals that are really interested and really want to get into trucking. You got to do the truck. You got to do this for the right reason. You cannot come in here for a paycheck just for a paycheck because just for a paycheck will hold you here for the rest of your life almost guaranteed and those of you that have been driving for a long time comment down below let them know tell them that if I'm telling the truth or not more than likely I'm telling the truth because we've all if we've been doing this for a while we've either loved what we've done our whole lives or we just got sucked in here with the kind of money that we're making and we're not able to get out because there's nothing else that we can come up with okay so something to think about guys something to think about and a little words of little words of wisdom of advice I, I can't believe that I'm at the age that I'm giving words of wisdom you know I'm 40 I'm 42 years old I know I'm not super old but I'm not uh, I'm not a young buck anymore and uh, it, just, it just feels crazy that I'm this old to be able to feel like just the older guy in the room. Woo! But it's, uh, <laughs> but it's true. 
anyways um and and that's what i that's what i want to get at guys i really want to want you guys i wish somebody would have sat down and told me um before i got into it because i mean i got it well, no i'm not gonna lie i got into it because i wanted the adventure i wanted the adventure and i wanted to go see different places because i'm just curious i mean my name translates to george in english and uh, it's, it's, to me, Curious George is probably one of the best names other than Blowout. Because you guys know I love getting, you know, blowing out tires for some crazy odd reason. And uh, so, I, I got into it because I, I really loved, I really loved going out, seeing places, doing different things. But I really, guys, really in reality, I wasn't planning on doing this this long. I was planning on going to see the country because you're really going to knock out most of the country in, you know, depending on the company you work for in a couple of years, really. Um, so the point where you get to like actually stop and get to, to meet people and stuff like that, maybe five years. After that, it's pretty repetitive. Now, I've never been in this little area that I'm at right now, but I have been to Cleveland, which is not far from here. So, I mean, I've basically I've been here. But I wasn't planning on being here this long. I was only planning on being here five years, ten years at the most. And I'm, 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 I'm here, guys. I got caught by the vortex. I got caught by the uh, by the black hole. And uh, I don't know what to do anymore. Like I don't know where else to, to go other than just stay here. I mean, I'm, I'm at a company where I'm already used to how everything works. Um, I'm comfortable here. I'm making decent money. I do pretty much whatever I want to do. I mean, I'm at the ideal trucking career, like the, the, the time, I'm at the best time of my trucking career right now. I pretty much have, you know, you guys see, I have a real decent, I got a decent truck. I just, everything I have it is it, just in place perfectly for me right now. Like it's, this is where I, where I want to be. But then it raised the question to myself, is this really where I want to be? I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's where it's becoming, uh, it's becoming a little difficult for me. This car is passing me, trying to pass. Woo! I'm glad you didn't decide to keep going. There was a car coming. Anyways, um, I'm, just, I'm just at that point where um, those of you that have been here with, with me for a while, uh, remember the time that I was really ready to leave. I was really ready to get out of trucking and uh, things happened and I ended up staying here. Uh, again, uh, pulled into the uh, to the black hole. <laughs> but I uh, I don't hate the job though. See, that's the thing. I don't hate doing this. And I don't hate getting in the truck and I don't hate being out here. I still love it. I still love it. But what do I love more, my family or the truck? I know, uh, I know Mike, good friend, good friend of mine, uh, you know, I had told him that I was getting out of this and, and uh, he was pushing me to try to do it and I didn't do it. I know I kind of let him down by staying here, but it's just, uh, I didn't know what else to do and it just wasn't working out for me. So that's it guys, a little word of advice to, to you young drivers. If you're young and you don't have a family and you want to see the country and uh, if you're good at making money and saving money come out here do it enjoy this if you love doing it for the rest of your life do it for the rest of your life if you don't save your money save your money don't live out of your means like I do and just save the money because you'll make the money the money's here and then go do something else have money for your college have money for um, a business that you might want to open or whatever put that money aside and do that but if you're coming here um, I mean even guys even even as uh, older even as as uh, older older uh, uh, people that you know that have already raised their family and their kids have already moved out and you want to try trucking come on with it you know because you're gonna come out here and make money and you're gonna you're going to uh you've already basically done your life so now it's just about traveling instead of buying an rv come jump in, in in one of these trucks 
and go out and see your country and get paid. Yeah, it's not going to be like an RV where you get to stop whenever you want to stop and all that other stuff, but there are ways to get around that and for you to be able to go do what you need to do. Trust me, I've done it. You guys have seen the videos. I've done it. I, I go out and do whatever I want to do, basically. I just figure out how to do it and I get it done. So, if you're young and you really want this, it's really in your blood, and you really want to do this, do it. If you're older and you're done with your family and you want to come out here with your wife uh, or husband and wife team or whatever, do it. But if you're just coming in here because you want a paycheck and that's absolutely it and nothing else matters to you, you don't care to see the country, you're just one of those people that look forward and don't even look out of your windows and don't care to stop and check out anything. If you're that person and you're not doing and you're and you're not doing it to, to, to stack all this money to get out of trucking immediately, um, and just just don't do it. Just just don't do it. Don't come in here and get into this because that's where you get these miserable truck drivers that hate their life. And they go into these shippers and these receivers and these uh, plants and these gas stations and truck stops and restaurants and just rub off all this negative, this ugliness off on everybody else. Because the people that work at those places don't deserve you coming in with your attitude because you hate your job too as a truck driver. Which kind of goes with the job, with the video that I posted previously. So... Um, the people they hate their jobs at, at, at these um, warehouses. They need to they need to not be there. And the same thing as a truck driver, guys. If you if you absolutely hate this, and like you, when you turn the key to that truck, you absolutely just do not want to do this at once whatsoever. Don't even do it. Don't even do it. We don't need you out here. We really don't. But if you're doing it for the right reasons, 100% come out here you will love it you will love you will love the country if your mind is set that this is what you want to see and what you want to do you will absolutely fall in love with this beautiful country and see all these different places and this, like this right now guys is one of my favorite favorite things to do whenever I'm out here is whenever I, I get off of the big major highways and actually peep into the lives of these little bitty of, of, of these little towns uh, people and just peep in and see what they do and and kind of look at them and and uh, their little restaurants and their lives and their little stores I mean it's just to me is amazing in my mind like I'll see a couple sitting uh, like in front of that house right there on the right you know there's nobody there but if there was you know I, I see a couple if I see them sitting there um, I drive past them you know I always wave at everybody and but but in my mind I will continue thinking about them people about how they're living and I'll kind of try to imaginarily live my life for a brief second through how I would be if I was there if I was it on that porch um, just hanging out you know just chilling and uh, just living in a small small town which I do live, live in a relatively small town but I'm kind of close enough to the cities where it doesn't feel as small town as this does right here where I'm at now all these little towns we just drove through so that's it guys that's that's my little my little word of advice and uh, yeah that's it that's it my little word of advice and hopefully you guys can kind of uh, take what I what I'm telling you and uh, and make a decision make a decision because ultimately it's your happiness and you're gonna do whatever you need to do to be happy and to, and to take care of yourself. And there goes another police officer just chilling, hiding. He's in there. <laughs> Shout out to all the police officers and all the military men and women. Um, but yeah, guys, so uh, I'm going to leave you guys here. Veterans Memorial Park. Memorial Day. Happy Memorial Day. Uh, I don't know. Do you say happy? Um, I don't know about that. Uh, but anyways, uh, I hope you enjoy your Memorial Day. And... Uh, Remember all the all our fallen soldiers that have uh, sacrificed their lives for our freedom, and for me to be able to be driving this truck right here with all the freedoms that I have. 
thank you to them. That's it, guys. Don't forget to be kind to one another, guys. Help anybody needs help. Anybody contemplate suicide, 1-800-273-8255. Military men and women, thank you so much for your service. See you guys on the next video. Peace. And back to Houston we go.